Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on conducting a chi-square test of independence and interpreting Kramer's V. The chi-square test can be used when we have nominal variables, and it's considered a non-parametric statistic. So it can be used in many cases where parametric statistics cannot be used due to the assumptions. For example, the chi-square test has no assumption of normality. It has no assumption of homoscedasticity, otherwise known as homogeneity of variance. And it can be used with distributions that are too skewed or kurtotic for some parametric statistics. For a chi-square test to be performed, you do need independent sampling. That is, the observations need to be independent of one another. The categories in the independent variables much be, must be mutually exclusive. And when looking at the data in a contingency table, the expected frequency for each cell must be at least five in 80% of the cells. And no one cell can have an expected frequency below three. The chi-square test tests the null hypothesis that the relative proportion of one variable is independent of the other. So let's take a look at these fictitious data I have loaded in the data view here in SPSS. You can see I have two variables, gender and outcome, and both variables have two levels. In the case of gender, male and female, coded as zero and one. And in the case of outcome, fail or pass, again coded 0 and 1. So let's presume that we have a particular, uh, in a particular course, say a counseling course, we have a particular exercise, and we believe that the males in the course are at a higher risk than the females to fail this exercise. So this would be the type of research question that a chi-square test of independence could help you answer. So to conduct chi-square, we're going to move to analyze, descriptive statistics, then over to cross-tabs. This is what the cross-tabs dialog looks like by default. I'm going to check off display clustered bar charts. And you can see we have gender and outcome. And again, our concern here uh, in this particular study would be that the males are at greater risk. So you can consider gender uh, the predictor variable or the independent variable. So that's going to go in the row. And then the outcome will put into the column. The statistic will still run if you have these uh, flipped around, but it's typically considered a good practice to put the independent variable in the row and the dependent variable in the column. So then under statistics, you can see there are a number of statistics available. I'm going to check off chi-square. And then under nominal here, phi and Kramer's V. Of interest to us will be Kramer's V. Oh, that's what I'll be interpreting. And then I'll, I'm also going to interpret uh, the risk estimate. So we want to check off risk here and click continue. I'm not going to make any changes under cells format or style, but I want to show you cells. Uh, there are a lot of options here that you can check off. Uh, some popular ones would be the expected counts and the percentages for row, column, and total. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it set to default, which will just have the observed counts uh, displayed. So from here, we're ready to run the chi-square test of independence. So I click OK. You can see here is our output window. Looking at the case processing summary, you can see we have 60 valid records and none missing. Looking at the cross-tabulation between gender and outcome, we can see that there were 21 males that failed the exercise and 12 females that failed. 
nine males that passed the exercise and 18 females that passed. Moving down to the chi-square tests, because we met the expected frequencies assumption for chi-square, we're going to interpret the Pearson chi-square statistic. You see it's 0 0.02. If we had not met that assumption, we could interpret the value here for Fisher's exact test. I have a separate video on that. But of course we did meet the assumption, so we'll look at Pearson chi-square. And for the p-value here, we can see if we use an alpha of 0 0.05, this is statistically significant. This tells us that there's a 2% chance that our observations could have occurred through random error alone. And the alpha, of course, is set at 5%. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis that these two variables are independent of one another. So moving down to the symmetric measures table, you can see this is where the value of Kramer's V is reported, and it's 0 0.302. Now, Kramer's V is a measure of association. So in a sense, it tells us how important our findings are. And the way we interpret Kramer's V is a value of 0 would indicate no relationship. A value of 0.2 or less would be a weak relationship. Between 0.2 and 0.3 would be a moderate relationship. And above 0.3 would be a strong relationship. So here we have above 0.3. We have 0.302. So we would say there's a strong relationship between these two variables. Then taking a look at the risk estimate, you can see here that we have an odds ratio for gender. And in this case, what this value is telling us is that the males in this study are at 3.5 times greater risk to fail than the females. Now, if this value were below 1, uh, you would interpret it a little differently. So, for example, say it was 0.5 instead of 3.5. If the value were 0.5, that would mean that the males were half as likely to fail as the females. And, of course, if the odds ratio were equal to 1, they would be equally likely to fail. And then... Here at the bottom, taking a look at the bar chart, we can see we have male uh, on the left and female to the right on this chart. Uh, blue here, this blue bar represents the count for number of fails and green for number of passes. And you can see here that the number of fails for the male level of the independent variable is uh, quite high compared to the females and the number of passes is low compared to the females. I hope you found this video on the chi-square test of independence to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.